Hey, welcome to another Ask Mike series uh, lesson here. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. Um, this one is, uh, this was from Facebook, and this was from Angela. And uh, Angela asks, Mike, what is a drop clutch? I've heard you talk about this before. What is a drop clutch? Okay, so for those of you who are um, driving a standard vehicle, this is the wrong video. <laughs> There's no clutch like that at all. This is something completely different. Okay, so a drop clutch. We should know that a hi-hat clutch, um, do I have an extra one here? I don't. So the clutch is the thing that holds the top hi-hat. Okay, so if you have a real set of hi-hats on your kit, um, the top mechanism that, you know, mounts to the post, that's your clutch, okay? What is a drop clutch? A drop clutch is useless unless you have other pedals on this side, okay? You don't need a drop clutch if you're just playing uh, regular regular drums. Like for example, if you're a jazz drummer, you don't need a, I shouldn't say you don't need, but there's a very limited chance that you're gonna need a drop clutch on a jazz gig. Now, that being said, what is it? Okay, well, you'll notice that it looks a little different than your average clutch, and there's usually like a stem that kind of comes out. You can see there's this black part right here uh, that you wouldn't see on a natural clutch, okay? So if I strike this with my stick, right now I don't have my foot on the pedal as you can see, if I strike this with my stick, the hi-hat drops, it falls, okay? Now, the only way to re-engage that is by stepping on the pedal. Cool thing is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you get the idea, is underneath there's a little hook. When I step on the pedal, there's a little hook that grabs the top of the clutch and lifts it back up. Oh, really cool. Now, if your foot is engaged down, this thing is useless, it doesn't work at all. So it's kind of a cool timing thing you have to work on if you're gonna use it. So for you double bass drummers, you might already know this, or maybe you should definitely invest in one. Um, nothing worse than having to unscrew the wing nut for the hi-hat to fall and so you can play double bass. Because in this case, I lift, I'm just lifting my toes up really is all I'm doing, and I'm hitting the, the drop clutch, it falls. Now I can move over to the left foot, foot pedal and have open hi-hat. Let's say that I'm gonna go back to a groove after I play double bass that needs uh, open hi-hat, simply step on the pedal, and I'm back in business. Hit. Okay. Um, I do use this in a couple of bands I play with. There's one where I'm playing cowbell, playing quarter notes, or a specific pattern, and uh, you know. And then when we go to the uh, go to the chorus, I do a little bit of open hi-hat stuff. So as I'm kind of doing a drum fill, I have to kind of time my foot to open the hat. So when I get back to the hat, um, it'll be ready to go for open and close. I hit all three of the cowbell, the uh, snare, or if you don't have to play the snare, it could be the bass drum, uh, and the clutch, and now I'm back to close. So, like anything on this instrument, it takes practice, it takes know-how, and make sure to use it uh, musically, and see if you can experiment a little bit more than, uh, than I just did with the... Uh, with the drop clutch, have fun, and uh, we'll see you at the next Ask Mike session.